Hello there, this is Mr. Obelipo. Welcome to my video. Uh, I know it's been a very long time since my last video, but uh, it's getting to summertime again, and so I'm going to have some more time to be making videos for you fools out there, you silly, silly fools. So today I'm just going to be doing a kind of tutorial, I guess, kind of telling you guys how I'm mining my ore and uh, how to mine your ore the most uh, efficient and proficient way. So uh, let's get this started. Uh, first of all, I will tell you my add-ons for uh, my add-ons that I do use to uh, gather ore. And that would be GatherMate 2, and that is it. You see this like big mini-map here? That's just a function of LVI. I can press my keybind and I get a bigger mini map. Now, what GatherMate 2, do, 2 does is when you uh, say mine a a deposit of ghost iron ore or any other kind of ore, it'll leave this little white blip on your mini map. And if you see, if I open my map, that is all the ghost iron ore different locations, it tells you the locations, it saves them, it's really nice, and it can help you uh, figuring out your route. What I'm going to show you is my route, and uh, how much ore I can make, and all that good stuff. So, as you can see, I mine in the Jade Forest, and basically, as you can see, I go around in this kind of circle here. It's, uh, it's generally a circle, but there's a lot of loops and stuff that I will have to show you if you want to use this route. Uh, probably right now or at the end I'll put up a map with a, like a route showing you my uh, mining route. So let's get started. Now the key about mining or mining in, or uh, gathering at all is to minimize the time between gathering nodes or herbs or whatever you're gathering. And how you do this is um, you just need to get proficient and know exactly where your ores or herbs are at. And that's why GatherMate 2 is such a nice thing. Oh, that's a new one. Now, what you should aim to do, you should uh, have your mount keybinded to make this as fast as possible. But one thing that's very important is your flying height and how far up from the ground you are um, because how you should be gathering is you just dismount in air and you should try to make it so that you land on the node or whatever see like that and you you start mining right when you land and then you start mounting right when you stop and you fly and using this you can minimize the time in between nodes and uh, get there if some other person is racing for the next one you also need to recognize patterns in the nodes, and you may find a better route than I'm using. But I'm just showing you what route I am using and what I found to be the most proficient. Um, you'll find a lot of things like this, especially in the Jade Forest, where there's just this big clump of, of um, mines, nodes. And that's, that's really good. Um, but you need to find what works best for you and uh, and accommodate for that. Now, I know that many people and many people tell people that you should be mining in caves. But unless you are a rogue or you are a druid... I would advise staying away from mining in caves because the amount of ads that are in there and how long it will take you to clear those ads to get the mines I found is not worth it. I found that there there's a cave right here, right here. And over here. And all these most of these are underground in that cave. But the amount of mobs in that cave, and the amount of time it takes to clear the mobs before I can mine, uh, actually leaves me with less ore than I would have just flying over it. I just missed that. Sometimes it takes a second to load. Ooh. 
That's what you don't want to happen. That's valuable. Oh gosh, this is horrible. <laughs> valuable time lost right there. It's just things you need to make clean and make it so that you you become the most proficient and efficient. Um, but like I said, mines I generally find are not a good idea unless you're a rogue or druid and you can stealth. And if you can, more power to you. I mined with my rogue during Kata, and that Elementium mine in the, the Twilight uh, Highlands was amazing. I got so much crap from there. But just notice how, also, you should, f when you land and you're mining, you should face your character the way you'll be going. After that, see, I face it that way because it's following my route. And here's another huge clump of things. I, there's usually like two of them, two mines in this whole clump. There's a rich one. Rich Riches are very nice. I usually get about seven out of rich deposits. Only one. That's so. Oh, oh, there's three in this clump. It's nice. Um, but I've actually found that there aren't too many people farming this uh, area in Jade Forest, or just farming Jade Forest. Period. Um, and if you and if there are, uh, just use this like technique I'm showing you, how to mine the fastest and mount up the fastest again and you will beat them in the mining race and they probably won't be taking the same route as you if you're following my route um, but I've found that this is the best route for the most uh, ore and I mean if you guys can find other routes that are better than this then that'd be awesome if you could tell me and I'll post in the video and give you credit or I'll post it in a video but that's pretty much all I have to say as far as ore goes. Um, I'll probably be speeding up the rest of the video just so you can see the route and how it works. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later. So here we're coming up to the spot where there's the cave. See, there's an underground one. There's another underground one that's in the cave. Usually when I fly over this spot, there's about three to five different nodes that are in that cave. And when I was farming inside that cave, I'd usually get probably about a stack and a half of ore from one run into the cave but it would take me like 15 minutes or so to just clear the cave out so I can mine everything and I did not find that that was worth it So that was one complete circuit of the route that I take. This is where we started, right here. So as you can see, we went like this, went around like this, came down, up and around and around and back and going down and like loop-de-loops and all this other great stuff. 
and let's see how much ore we got. We got three, four stacks. Um, that was actually one of the worst trips I've taken. <laughs> that was, uh, we did not get much ore at all. Usually I can get a lot more ore from one, just from one single uh, thing of the route. But, um, yeah, so if you want to use this, you can try it on your own. Use the techniques I told you, and you'll be looking good. Uh, stay tuned for uh, more guides and how to make some money, some golds, and wow, it's all good, it's all good. And uh, we will see you next time. Bye.